What you guys are looking at right now is the one of the most expensive figs that has ever existed. One of the most anticipated figs that has ever existed. It's called the Ponte Tresa. People went nuts for this. It came from Switzerland and a, a grower found it and people chopped it up. Went to the location of the tree and took as many cuttings as they could and just made uh, as much money as they could. And it's really a shame um, that the grower or the person who found the tree originally and shared this variety with the fig community also shared the location of the tree. And uh, it was a big learning experience. It's also a big learning experience that this fig here, as beautiful and tasty as it probably is right now, isn't worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> Cause that's what I think cuttings of this went for. Um, not too long ago, a few years ago. And here I finally have it. I got it, I think for maybe 30 or so dollars, I think. Maybe 20, 25 to 36 dollars. Somewhere in that range. I got it from uh, my buddy Fruit Nut who had an auction of this. Steven put up an auction of this while nobody really was interested anymore. It went for a ton of money. And then people weren't, you know, really into it anymore for just crazy reasons uh to be into it like you know an insane amount and then not to be into it it's kind of like a nice little lesson in psychology it's almost like a crazy investment crazy investor psychology you know one second the stock's doing really well the next second it's it's not and they and they dump it um you know instead of buying low and selling high they're buying high and selling low and um, I, I will say though, my buddy Raphael really loves this fig. And there's a lot of people who really like this fig now. I would say my tree is, is uh, coming into its own. It's, if I'm looking at it right now, it's in its own 10 gallon size pot. This is, I think it's uh, third year from cutting if I'm not mistaken. It could also, I think it may actually be its, this is my, uh, its second year from cutting. But it's probably a little, it's definitely over two years old, let's say that. And um, as a result, it's just not mature. So giving an accurate rating on this is not really that going to be that valuable, but um, we're going to review it anyway because it's such a highly anticipated fig because my buddy Raphael loves it. I got to taste it. Uh, at the Staten Island Fig Festival, he brought me, well, he didn't bring me one, but <laughs> I asked him for one. He gave me one. But uh, he's got a nice tree of this that's loaded. It was loaded this year, I think he was saying. He got many of these. I got a couple of these, but it didn't really produce too well. I know a few people that have been having issues with the fig dropping. Um, this can drop figs every, you know, at, at younger ages. That's a butte right there. I'm sorry, that looks really good. Uh, it's definitely well ripened, and the few that I picked earlier in the season, I had to pick a few before a, a bad rain, and I picked them too soon, and as a result, the flavor really wasn't that great. But this one should be good, so we'll see. Right now, let's let's taste it. It's nice and thick. It's also very soft. It's almost too soft. Like it's... Like there's no substance to it. The skin's very... Um, it's not thick, but it's like an intrusive skin that doesn't do anything for me. In fact, I hate the skin. I don't know if I'm gonna. If that's gonna be the case forever, because that will probably change in the future. I love the pulp. Pulp's got a great flavor, but the skin I could do without. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna peel it. It just seems very intrusive, like I said, and it's probably the best I can do. 
intrusive and it doesn't add anything. It doesn't make the make it any better. It actually makes it worse because it's intrusive. You know, some some skins will be quite thick and that kind of also is an intrusive type skin. But at least they're they're thick and they're they add some texture. This is adding a poor really soft texture to my mouth. Well, to be honest with you, the whole thing is very soft. I don't know. That's the structure of it is not something that I go for. But it's got a nice flavor. It's almost like um, almost has like a little bit of bubble gum in there, a little bit of grape soda flavor, like an artificial. There's some kind of artificial flavor in there, which is a good sign that it was well ripened and also that it has a lot of potential to it. Um, there's certainly a lot of fruits in nature and fruits that I've ripened here that have very weird artificial flavors in them. And that's just, uh, I think, really interesting to, to look into and see, oh, wow, that's, that's kind of how this came to existence. I think that one has like a... <laughs> Believe it or not, a pretty awesome grape flavor, like grape soda. But this is the tree right here I want to show you guys. You can see the trunk's not that thick and it even looks, it's probably only two years old now. You can tell by, you could probably tell by the trunk. But it grew quite a bit this year. Um, I think last year what it had, it had came as maybe a single stem when I got it from Fruit Nut and then I let it branch out and I think um, maybe I cut it back to a certain length here somewhere I can't really tell and then it branched out this year again and put out new growth not a whole lot of new growth but uh, yeah it's looking good it's looking healthy my tree should put out a lot of fruit next year and I'm excited so all right guys we'll talk to you soon that was Ponte Tresa I'm gonna go inside and enjoy the last little remaining figs of the year. Take care, guys.